Season 3, Episode 5, The Beach. Are we going to have a whole episode dedicated to these guys? Ooh, are we going to get flashbacks too? I believe it was a long time ago. Look how freaking old they are. That's it? <laughs> it must have felt a lot bigger when you were kids. Oh. Them. Uh-huh. <laughs> Actually. Oh! Wow. <laughs> all right. Yeah, he is. Oh, I see. Um. Sure. <laughs> That's cool. It's like a natural water slide. Until he spits out into like some canal. Like right here. That's not good. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because this guy's gone. Everyone, the entire world is going to know he's alive again. Just because he's... Oh, my... Oh, no. Well, so much for keeping it a secret. Oh. Well, the whole disguise thing didn't last very long. You, you didn't wh why hey you need some help unpacking could you scooch just a little bit more to the perfect down bad <laughs> i don't blame him here this is for you why would i want that i saw it and i thought it was pretty don't girls like stuff like this maybe stupid girls oh my god they're so edgy dude <laughs> The, just the way both of them talk, like, oh, they are made for each other. It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> is everyone just going to be falling for her? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> See that girl with the silly pigtails? When she runs toward the ball, there's just the slightest hesitation of her left foot. I'm willing to bet a childhood injury has weakened her. Keep the ball you are a really good and the rest analyzer. Holy shit. God damn. Dude, the framing of some of these shots, especially with Ty Lee and Zuko, are so funny to me. Like, they're both re- like, you know, I, I don't know. 
Tylee's hot. What do what do you want me to say, man? It's a game. Calm down. <laughs> the way they said that. But fine, you're invited. Just so you know, though, some of the most important teenagers in the Fire Nation are gonna be at this party, so try and act normal. Whoa. Please take that thing. Jeez, man, that thing. Get, that thing put in work. I wonder who sent this bird out. The bounty hunter. Right, right, right. That actually makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Very intriguing. I was going to say, as long as that paper doesn't make it to the Fire Nation, we're good. I mean, I, I think everything will be fine if they mess everything up, because, you know, I'm <laughs> royalty. Careful. You could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. Because what? So sharp. Was that supposed to be funny? Um, <laughs> Hers and Zuka's social cues and social skills are so bad. Like horrible Ty Lee's are good because she spent so many years in the circus right but yeah they're I don't know like <laughs> when you're treated like royalty and everyone worships you all the time when you try to like I'm assuming when they try to lower themselves um you know to people who don't know who they are or whatever when they aren't getting worshipped they just don't know how to act Although, well, that's more Azula, not even Zula, Azula, and, Azula and Zuko. Because Zuko has been banished for a long time and not worshipped for a long time. Especially when he was in Ba Sing Se and undercover and actually, like, just a good Samaritan. Um, but Azula, yeah, she really doesn't know how to act when she's not <laughs> treated as royalty. Dude, oh my... So how do you know Ty Lee? I met her at the beach today. She was pretty impressed by Sanford going to the domain. Well, Dude, I met her first. Everyone met her at the beach today. Look, it doesn't matter who you oh. first, because I like you all. But which one of us do you like? Yeah, tell us. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that works. Those boys won't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Look, maybe I just said it because I was a little jealous. What? But you're the most beautiful, smartest, perfect girl in the world. Oh, you're right about all those things. But for some reason, when I meet boys, they act as if I'm going to do something horrible to them. Well, I mean, it is the vibe you give off. You, <laughs> you know. Tylee, like, gives off very... She's very... Has a very bubbly personality, right? She looks like she wants to kill anyone that steps in her way. I'm just saying that. And I have experience from having... I I have a really bad RBF. Uh, if you know what that means, then you know. But um, it, it's my resting face. My resting face looks like I want to kill someone. <laughs> like, you know... So when I'm just walking around normal, like no emotions at all, I'm not angry, I'm not like super giddy or anything like that. I'm just like walking like normal or just, you know, just looking normal. 
I look like I hate you or like I want to kill you. <laughs> so it's definitely, uh, I can relate to that a little bit. <laughs> but you probably would do something horrible to them. Let's try it. <laughs> This is a bit much. These two are oh my god. There, pe people have relationships like this. It's like I see people in relationships like this a lot, and it's like, are you guys even happy? Like, do, what do, what are you doing? Uh, oh, he's so cocky. Wow, that was quick. You're pretty. Together, you and I will be the strongest couple in the entire world. We will dominate the earth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that facial reaction says it all. D d bro, d d d d calm down. <laughs> like Seriously, Azula, calm down. Yeah, you're you're freaking you're scary. Hey, watch it. That food was for my cranky girlfriend. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Oh, someone's getting broken up with. As opposed to you, you have no passion for anything. You're just a big blob. It's over, Zuko. Yeah, I think. Who broke my nana's face? Completely understandable. Uh oh. You're out of here. I was just leaving. Have fun by yourself, loser boy. Uh oh. Anyone could have seen that breakup coming from a mile away, man. So sad what happened to his mother. Oh. Oh, he got here quick. Guys, you're all gonna think I'm crazy, but it feels like a metal man is coming. Yep. <laughs> That's armor for you. Mm -hmm. What on earth? Wait, that's actually sick. I was not expecting that. What the? Wait, this is cool. Frick, how many times can you shoot that thing? Oh, he looks so cool, too. Wow, I just thought he was going to be a bounty hunter with a cool tattoo on his head. Nah, dude, bro's got powers. I thought I'd find you here. Those zones we spent here seem so long ago. So much has changed. I'm done. This is crazy! How can we beat a guy who blows things up with his mind? Yeah, like, Jeez. actually, what? Jump on up! I'll try to distract him! Dang. <laughs> yeah, you know that rock right behind you is about to get smashed. <laughs> Boom. Yep. 
Oh, I love the architecture of this place. This this is cool. Like all these pillars and stuff. This is a fun place to fight. <laughs> Sick. That was sick. He's mastered three of the four elements, man. He's really a challenge. Cool. Nice. Clever. Circus freak. <laughs> yes, I'm a circus freak. Go ahead and laugh all you want. You want to know why I joined the circus? Here we go. To get out of Do this. Have any idea what my BS. Was like? Growing up with six sisters who look exactly like me? It was like I didn't even have my own name. I, I like hearing this. I Oh, this is great. Because we never get to see this side of Ty Lee, really. She's always, like, bubbly or smiley or whatever. I actually like seeing some character for her. I joined the circus because I was scared of spending the rest of my life as part of a match set. At least I'm different now. Circus Freak is a compliment. I guess that explains why you need ten boyfriends, too. I'm sorry, what? Attention issues. You couldn't get enough attention when you were a kid, so you're trying to make up for it now. Well, what's your excuse? Yeah, that's kind of true. only child for 15 years, but even with all of that attention, your aura is this dingy, pasty, gray... I don't believe in auras. Yeah, you don't believe in anything. Oh, well, I'm Th sorry I can't be as high, strong, and crazy as the rest of you. There's so much contention happening right now. It's crazy. But I, I'm so glad everybody's getting their chance to speak their minds. I'm sorry, too. I wish you would be high, strung, and crazy for once. Instead of keeping all your feelings bottled up inside. She just called your aura dingy. Are you going to take that? What do you want from me? That's why you're afraid to care about anything. And why you can't express yourself. You want me to express myself? Leave me alone! Hmm. Yeah. I'm still mad at you. My life hasn't been that easy either, May. Whatever. It's true. It doesn't excuse the way you've been acting. Calm down, you guys. This much negative energy is bad for your skin. You'll totally <laughs> bad skin. Normal teenagers worry about bad skin. Yeah, he has a massive scar, my yeah. My father decided to teach me a permanent lesson on my face. Sorry, Zuko. I... For so long, I thought that if my dad accepted me, I'd be happy. I'm back nope. home. Azula is loving this. I can tell you, man, like, the, his father's acceptance was never going to bring happiness. It, no. It's a simple question you need to answer then. Who are you angry at? No one. Himself. Just angry. He's angry yeah. at himself. One person. No, no, it's himself. No, no. Then who? Who are you angry at? Answer the question, Zuko. Talk to us. Come on. Answer the question. Come on, answer it. I'm angry at myself. Yep. There it is. Why? Well, yes. I guess you're right. I don't have sob stories like all of you. I could sit here and complain how our mom liked Zuko more than me, but I don't really care. Well, you kind of were, right, to be honest. Course, but it still hurt. Yeah. What Lo and Lee said came true. We each did help us learn about ourselves. I feel all smoothed. <laughs> sure. I I love this. Everyone gets to speak their mind. That was an incredible. I mean, this episode's been great so far, but this whole part around the fire is incredible. Everyone gets to speak what they want to say. Everyone feels completely different. Like, all these characters are vastly different from each other. Tylee is nothing like Zuko. You know what I mean? Or like Azula or, you know, any of them. Like, it's just... 
I love this. I love this, only, not only contention, but just getting their thoughts and feelings out. I mean, Azula doesn't really care, but still, I don't know. I just, I like it a lot. Are they going to burn down the place? Dang, they are awful people. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that picture is perfect. I honestly might make that picture my thumbnail. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I wish we got a scene of them revealing who they were to the kids. Who's like, what? that's funny. That's actually a really funny way to end the episode. Fascinating episode. The entire episode was pretty much on Zuko and the and Zula and the rest of the gang, right? Um, we got a couple scenes with you know Aang and Katara and all of them, um, especially with this bounty hunter after them. But they were definitely in the minority of the episode. There was like literally two scenes with them, maybe three. Um. So yeah, I that was very interesting. I actually like how I like that we got an entire episode not focused on the main group. You know, like we got an episode last season focused specifically on Zuko. So I like that we kind of pretty much got that uh, this time around again. Another episode that doesn't follow our main cast. But following this group was nice. You know, they kind of are forced onto this little vacation, but it's nice seeing them try to fit in with normal people and not being treated like royalty because they don't especially Azula anyways, doesn't know how to act like in situations like that. So it's just interesting seeing them on like a different type of level together. And like, you know, like during the volleyball when Azula is like burned down the net, she's like, that's it. You're never going to get up again. It's like, it's just a game, man. Calm down. And then like Tylee getting hit on at the beach by like everyone, which is kind of funny, which again, like saying at the end, it was definitely attention seeking issues and stuff. Like they all have their issues and they were all present, very present in this episode um getting invited to the party but them not knowing who they are and all that stuff and you know the breakup that happened the temporary breakup anyways with Zuko and then Zuko going to see and visit his past this episode was just really great I loved seeing the bonding and separation with this group the whole episode it was very wonderful it was very well written and it gave a lot for the characters and Honestly, the voice actor performance was incredible in this. Like, I have to give props to the acting. Like, the just the, the how the characters were written and how they were performed was incredible in this episode. And I liked the episode a lot. But the scene around the fire at the end was like it took it up even further. Just them getting their feelings and thoughts out to each other, and kind of making amends a little bit, but also you know still not cool with each other and all that. But then at the end they go and burn down the. <laughs> The, the house the kid's house that poor kid but i mean i guess they took joy in it i i did find it kind of funny i mean it's messed up but it's kind of funny but yeah just so much about this episode was great i i really really enjoyed it this was a very very good episode easily one of the best of the season so far i thoroughly enjoyed it but yeah anyways um i don't think i have anything more to add really great episode um so yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next one.